what is up you guys it's katya books welcome back to my channel and welcome to another supplement review yes yeah, so excited to have another supplement to try with you guys it's been a hot minute and i've had this in my room for a while but i had other videos that i was trying to bust out and i didn't want to try it quite yet but you saw from the thumbnail on the title caged muscle who i just tried their pre-workout not too long ago came out with a vegan protein powder. Now they came out with two flavors. One I was able to get in a sample size, the other one they ran out, so I just got it in the full tub size, but I am pretty stoked that they came out with this because I was kind of waiting for them to, especially after how good their pre-workout was. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead, click the card above so you can go see my review on their pre-workout. But anyways, so they've got two flavors and quite unique. We've got banana bread and cinnamon roll. So I'm pretty stoked that not only did they come out with two flavors, not just one, but they're like, hey, let's do something more than just plain vanilla and chocolate, get the attention of people, hopefully the vegans out there. So this is like the largest size they have. It's got 15 servings in it, but I'm excited to try it. So let's just quickly read the macros of it, and then we can get on with tasting them. So the cinnamon roll, it's got 150 calories for fat, two carb, and 25 protein. Dope, and it's a pea protein isolate, and it says it has organic quinoa. So the only thing about that is that it's just pea protein, not pea protein and brown rice, making it a complete protein source in regards to the amino profile. But it says they also have 4.5 grams of total BCAAs, which gives your isoleucine, leucine, and valine. So even though it gives you your BCAAs, it's not giving you a total protein, or I mean a complete protein to get your full amino profile. So this would be good for just like post-workout, but if you're gonna have it as a meal replacement, it's not gonna give you all those aminos needed. So you could supplement it on top of another meal that you might be having just to add protein. Um, and then for the banana bread, also 150 calories, but it's got four fat, four carb, and 25 protein. So I might as well try the banana bread cause it's in the packet first. So I'm gonna just mix this up with water in a jar whatever i have available and then we're gonna get to tasting it <laughs> so i didn't know how quickly this would mix up but wow it mixed up super quickly because like when i poured in the powder it was like up to here and so the water was this much but whoa it mixed up seamlessly like i'm pretty shook about that so oh that smells good it's got a strong banana flavor almost reminds me like laffy taffy banana so kind but I kind of like that, so let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Okay. A tad overpowering with the banana, with just water. I feel like it would be muted down a little bit if you put it in a smoothie or did it with some like almond milk or some cashew milk, whatever kind of plant based milk you want to do it with. But water alone, it's a very strong banana taste. So, I mean, if you like bananas, you'll love this for sure, but I'd recommend having it with like some kind of nut milk, something to kind of tone down the strong banana taste. Maybe throw in some like strawberries, make it a banana strawberry um, shake, but ugh, water alone, I would give it maybe 6.5, 7 out of 10. Like, I don't know if particularly I'm gonna go and grab a tub size of it, but I think in my oatmeal morning oats, that would taste pretty good. Um, but I also don't know with such a strong pungent flavor if it's also gonna be overpowering even in something like that. Because I noticed with protein powders in my oats, even if it's like mildly strong and just like, you know, just that right amount, that even in my oats, it comes out just the right amount. So this might be a little overpowering for some, but if you don't mind that, you might like this one. Mm. Yeah, that's really strong. All right, I'm gonna chug this and then we'll try the cinnamon roll. All right, so now we got cinnamon roll, which also mixed up seamlessly. So, okay, smells nice pungent cinnamon-ness, so let's see. Mmm, 
I like that a lot, lot better than the banana bread. That is so good. Nice cinnamony flavor. I mean, it's hard to say it's like cinnamon bun, but it just tastes like straight up like cinnamon. If anything, it kind of reminds me of like a rice pudding because it you usually cook it with like a cinnamon stick in it. So, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Like if you're gonna get one of their two flavors, go for this one for sure because this is pretty darn good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with water alone. I like this one a lot better. It's okay. It's not 10 out of 10. I would give this one more like 7.5 out of 10. It's not the greatest. There's something like artificially that's kind of coming through. It's hard to describe. So this is one that again, I'll just probably put my oats and not drink alone. So post-workout, it might be just a bit too much and it is quite sweet for some. So there is that give and take of it. Um, but I'll just finish it up real quick and then we'll recap of my thoughts on the protein overall. All right, guys, so wrapping up this review, do I recommend Caged Muscles Plantain Premium Vegan Protein? Not really, honestly. If I want to give my honest opinion, like the biggest factor to that is that it's not a complete protein. You're only given pea protein. That's strictly it which don't get me wrong it's nice because it doesn't come through as much as brown rice protein powder can in protein powders so there's no grit it's super seamless super smooth but the flavors they were kind of subpar and yeah that's all it really is so if you want to get a really well-rounded super tasty protein powder i highly recommend live body i've got a link in the description below it's got a full blend of like vegetables and amino acids, everything you need to recover your muscles post-workout. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cinnamon roll was kind of exciting to try. The banana was interesting to say the least, but you know, I don't think I'm gonna be buying them again. I mean, if they do come out with like a classic chocolate and vanilla, I'd be happy to try them for you guys, but I mean, I'm not saying cage muscle is bad whatsoever because I loved their pre-workout. Like that's something I would definitely go back and purchase from them. But for protein, uh, I don't I don't know about their plantain protein and I can't try their whey protein because I am a vegan. So I hope you did enjoy this honest review from me. Click the links in the description below if you want to try some really awesome possum protein powders. Um, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for y'all. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We've got more coming up for you. I think I got another Lions pack, which they actually changed their name to King Lane Nutrition. So I'm going to have to change the name to those videos as well, but the vegan cookie doughs. So yeah, we'll get to try those together. Um, otherwise, hopefully some workouts coming out soon. All that fun stuff. So yeah, let me know also. What are the videos you'd like to see? Yeah, I love you guys. Oh, recipes too. <laughs> I keep forgetting. But yes, I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.